Greetings fellow cows, I'm Tobo Mohozre and you're watching Eve News, Williams College's premier online and television newscast, brought to you in high definition. And I'm Ashna Shaw Grover, and you are in for a treat today with Eve News' Halloween special. Now for today's top news. This past weekend, from October 25th to 27th, was Family Days. Parents traveled from all over the country to visit students, check on how they're doing, and get to experience the college. Fellow flower children, our wildest dreams have finally become a reality. The limited use of medical marijuana voted into Massachusetts law last year is finally coming into effect. A nonprofit organization in Pittsfield is already considering starting up an eco-friendly medical marijuana dispensary. So, smoke up! And finally, pre-registration for the spring semester opened on Monday. Departments on campus will hold open houses to allow students to explore and discover interesting spring courses. And now for the top news in the nation. On national news, President Barack Obama forced between a rock and a hard place by the German government after the National Security Agency, NSA, was discovered to be monitoring the cell phone of Chancellor Angela Merkel. This past Thursday, President Obama told an audience of activists at the White House that the future of the bipartisan immigration reform bill was now in the hands of Republicans in the House. This is somewhat troubling. And here's Channing Tooks for this week in sports. Oh, my bad. Thanks, Tobo. Sports. This Saturday on Cole Field, returning from a tough Tuesday loss to Middlebury, the women's soccer team crushed Bates with three unanswered goals. The men's team, after losing 3-2 to RPI in overtime on Wednesday, came home Saturday and defeated Bates, holding on for the win with a score of 1-0. This weekend, the volleyball team competed valiantly in the Hall of Fame tournament, losing three sets to two on Friday against Springfield College. And on Saturday, after another 3-2 loss to MIT, the women finished strong by beating Wellesley in three straight sets. At our own Plansky Invitational, both the men's and women's cross-country teams dominated, taking first place of the four schools present, proving once again that purple cows are exponentially faster than their real-life counterparts. The football team did justice to Weston Field's penultimate game, shutting Hamilton out with a score of 24-0. And on Sunday, the women's rugby team suffered a tough loss to rivals Amherst with a final score of 24-16. And finally, on the Renzi Lamb Field, the women's field hockey team defeated Bates 1-0 for their last game of the season. And in the emotional words of a certain vivacious orange bike riding British freshman player who asked to remain anonymous, now that the season's over, we begin cray airy freaking night. Now back to Tobo and DJ Smashing Up with more campus news. <laughs> Pre-registration for the spring semester opened on Monday. When registering, make sure not to forget distributional and major requirements. Most importantly, take pre-registration seriously. It may define your spring semester for better or for worse. I know from past experience. The MINCO board is accepting positions for communication director and three all-campus representatives. Students interested in expanding their cross-cultural experiences, representing and working with underrepresented student groups on campus, as well as working closely with the college administration on diversity issues, are encouraged to apply. For those students without a personal therapist, a master the therapy dog returned to Pereski this Friday to spread some happy cheer to save us from the dreariness of exam period. Students were encouraged to tell Maestro about that week, midterms, or other more distressing Sylvia Plath matters. He is known for his puppy dog eyes and giving a paw to hold on to for a little while. I know I will certainly be paying him a visit soon. Locally, the movie Gravity is killing it at the box office. The movie is about the disaster space journey of a brilliant medical engineer and her second man veteran astronaut. 
In the words of the Images Cinema website, the movie tells a tale of being tethered to nothing but each other and spiraling out of control into the blackness. If sci-fi is what tickles your fancy, I suggest you buy tickets ASAP. It is still playing at Images Cinema in three dimensions. It's time for How's Your Hookup Code of the Week. Hooked up with a freshman, found out he's 17. Does that make me a pedophile? <laughs> and now for the arts. Last Thursday, the Tiger Lilies, a three-piece band from London, performed at the 62 Center. The Tiger Lilies have a somewhat surreal musical style that is a mix between opera, gypsy, punk, and old Paris. They have won international acclaim for their opera, Shock-Headed Peter. Their show is a provoking blend of beauty and macabre that was a much needed break from the vanilla flavored monotony of our purple bubble. If the tiger lilies were an ice cream flavor, they'd be chili chocolate. And last Sunday, Brooks Rogers hosted a super cool performance by guitarist Freddie Bryant and Rao, who appeared at Williams as part of the Ernest Brown World Music Series. This series brings musicians from across the globe to share their musical talents with the Williams College community. The performance was an exotic blend of tabla, sitar, guitar, and cello playing, and added a unique spice to the Williams College music scene. And finally, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, our beloved Frosh Review performed for students and parents. Unsurprisingly, it was hilarious. For all who missed it, be sorry, you're not cool anymore. This has been DJ Smashna and Tabo Mahoja with Eve News reminding you to stay black and white and purple. <laughs>